All right, guys. What's up, white boy? We're going to react to this Tony Mathis uh, appearance that he did on this uh, this channel that I found. So first off, I found I found where Cher's been hanging out. She crawled out of her cave. But I keep seeing everywhere on the streets yesterday. Uh, Savage was talking about it. Jay for Justice. Uh, uh, even Clue Minot. Everyone was reacting to this this thing, right? And I've been seeing this lady uh, uh, allegedly with Britney J. Okay. This lady is definitely a tragedy fan, okay? We're going to call her uh, allegedly Karen J. Now, this, this, she decided to have a tragedy pimp marathon over there with Tony Mathis. And it was out of control. Um, but back to this Karen J. What's up with her? What color hair does she have? I just want to know for my, for, for I get the correct wig for the parodies. Um, she's definitely tragedy pimp material. Uh, so, um, Karen J., You've been served. You're not cleared. But people, it's out of control because you have this, you have justice for nobody and share up on the panel. And they're literally, well, let me go back to the, to the, to the, uh, uh, allegedly with Karen J and, and the, uh, and the, uh, parodies coming. I don't know what she looks like. I'm asking what kind of hair she has. There's no talent. She's going to be calling me a racist for that comment or fat shaming her somehow for her hair, hair, hair color. So let's, let's keep it, you know, let's keep it where it's at facts. But then, yeah, you have, you have literally, uh, ju justice for nobody share up there. Okay. And this is a comedy session. It's a comedy session. You have, you have literally, they're asking this guy, okay, you know, what happened when, 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 uh, Seth hit on the person, you know, did, did, uh, Pascal, did, did Pascal and Hith have butt sex? Like, it's everything. And the guy is like a grown, listen, say what you want about Tony Mathis. He's not stupid. And he's a grown man. And you could tell, like, there's loyalty there. Like, he's not going to be like, oh, yeah, you know, th there was butt sex. And yeah, Seth, I can't believe he hit on this person. And then the, the craziest thing is that they're like, every 10 seconds, Trevor Lee and Trevor Lee and Trevor Lee and Trevor Lee and Trevor Lee. Get over it. I mean, nothing personal, Trevor Lee. I have no person against you, but look, the, the, whatever happened, Seth is just not with Trevor Lee. I mean, get over it. And, and let's face it, like, and this is no dig towards Trevor Lee. Like, what's he going to do? Solve the case? Yeah, this is YouTubers, people, and we'll get that, that, that at the end of the video. But it's out of control. You know, it's it's just like the worst. It, it's it's the worst shit to watch this tragedy pimp marathon, and then you have. Some questions about the Bauer socks paying people uh, to do videos. Um, I thought that interesting. Anybody know them? It's hard out here. Bidenomics. I mean, I'll Bauer socks. I'll do fifty percent off right now, and probably better than what you got going on. But it, it you know, I'm watching share, and then you, you know, justice for nobody. He's good for like two questions, and then since you're looking awkward with his makeup on. But you have share asking about the Caleb Harris account. Was it monetized? Was it not? Oh man, I'm gonna DM Tony Mathis. I don't even like Tony Mathis, the Bullhorn, Bullhorn Betty stuff, but I'm gonna have to DM him because there's a lot of shenanigans going on with, with this interview. But, you know, why did he say your Summer Wells videos are monetized? But then she's asking about his, uh, can, she demands actually his Cash App and his Venmo receipts for the people. Well, Tony Mathis, when you get this DM through TikTok, I think that's where it can find you, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna demand, okay? that you do not give that to her until she shows the people what happened to the uh, grifting of, remember this Quentin Simon case? Oh, I'm going to go see Billy Joe. We want to see where those donations went first. So, so look, I don't even like Tony Mathis, but if we have to like level up, if I'm on a scale from like, you know, if there's a, if there's a gun to my head and I have to like, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's my last day on earth. And the guy's like, look, the day with Tony Mathis or the day with Cher, I might tell him to just pull the, the thing, but uh, I probably Tony Mathis to be honest with you. I, I this is so tough, but it's listen, people. It, it's out of it's out of control, man. It, it, it's out of control. But I did want to say this, man. The guy is a grown man. He's not. You're not going to break him. And like, I, I'm really proud of the true crime community on this interview. Like here, you have somebody close to the parent. Some people think Seth is you know guilty. Some people think it's the uh, uh, proud foots. Whatever you have, somebody who's close to the parent. And look, I have some news for you, everybody, subscri subscribers, and everybody. No YouTuber is going to solve the case. Zero. YouTubers are good, right? Searches, flying drones. Um, but what YouTubers are really good at is this exact scenario: interviews. Uh, pe families, you know, people close to the families, they, they're, they're more relaxed on a panel, on a, on a YouTube live, right? 
than maybe a media interview or something like that. And, and things slip and this and that. The more, the more comfortable you are. This is common sense. You guys know this. So if we do know this, why are you guys drilling the man with these crazy... He's not... You're not breaking him. And, and back to Cher. This lady is literally... Uh, she's literally like drilling this guy. Drilling this guy. And then she's like, okay, I'm going to drop off. And then... She comes back in the chat and she's like, oh, Tony, here's my email. You know she's all over this because the video has like 10,000 views. So she's just like, Tony. And that's why Justin was there. But it's so out of control, people. And, you know, like, why not utilize this moment to, like, ask some questions about the, every single thing on this shenanigan marathon of Tragedy Pimps? Nothing related to the case. What does Seth Porking, um, Pascal have anything to do with the case? Who cares who hit on him and whatever and Trevor Lee and Trevor Lee and Trevor Lee. It's just like, what the frig are you doing? No wonder the dude and the dude ain't stupid, man. The dude ain't stupid. Like these people, it, it's just frankly out of control. Um, you know, and I did hear like people are calling his job and, uh, and all that. Uh, I guess they're like calling his job up and, uh, want to talk to his, his boss. Somebody sent the, uh, <laughs> the boss, the, uh, the, the, when he was rocking out with his cock out. And that's really all I tuned in for this interview because I wanted to see if, um, I wanted to see if he would touch on that. But again, people, he's not going to be like, yeah, you know, it was my cock. Come on. You know, he's either going to deflect or, you know, he's going to, he, he's going to, he's not, he's not stupid. He's not stupid. And, he, and he's loyal. And to that point, you have to respect it. But, but at the same point, this was comical at its best, com comedy gold. But, you know, to people calling his boss and stuff, and and all that, you know, I'm not here to say if it's right or wrong. All I'm here to say is, Tony, man, um, I guess welcome to true crime. This is what we do and have to go through all the time. Um, and uh, also. Cease and desist these nuts.